If you play softball and you've heard my video about not hitting the ball to center field, I want to make sure you understand that it's not the same as baseball. Here's why. This is one of my college players, but this is back when she first started and she's in high school. So this is from October 1st, 2019 to January 1st, 2020. And these are all her hits. She only had a couple home runs. Uh, she was really developing power. We were really building her engine. And what I want you to see is when she hit the ball to center field, she did that 68% of the time. When I add her outs back in, that's almost all of her outs are when she hit the ball to center field. So if I take center field away, you can see she very rarely got out when she pulled or hit the ball the other way. So while she did have a lot of hits to center field, she didn't have as many hits relative to batted balls in play as she did when she pulled it or went opposite field. As she developed power, and I changed the date to October 1st of 2020, you're gonna see a ton of home runs up in the top, okay? Now, what you'll notice is she's even hitting more balls to center field now, which seems to go against what I said before. Here's why softball players, if they have power, can hit the ball to center field and should stay gap to gap instead of gap or gap like a baseball player. Now. While she still has her highest percentage of outs to the center fielder, it's a high percentage play for her to drive the ball to the middle of the field. So 76% of the time she did that, if I remove her outs, look at all these home runs. So by staying middle-middle with a softball player approach that has power, we still eliminate the center fielder quite a bit because we're hitting it over the fence. Softball fields generally are roughly the same distance all the way around on the fence. So this is Arizona State's field. It's roughly 208 all the way around. It may shrink into two, to 200, but that's completely different than a baseball field, which can be 300 down the lines and 420 in center. So we want to understand that if she were playing on like a full-size baseball field and we scaled these hits up, a lot of these are caught by the center fielder. But that's not something softball players with power have to worry about. They can hit the ball to all fields as often as they like, as long as they're hitting it hard enough and far enough to get it over the outfielder's heads and preferably over the fence. This is what you see here when we put her outs back. Yes, she's still getting out more often when she goes middle than when we add her other hits back, but because she can have so much success from gap to gap and over the fence and center, staying middle with a powerful softball player is a great approach.